Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Oh, you're eating my hair. Stop, in my hair, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so gross, there is slob dog slobber all over in my hair. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I am going to show you how to focus stack your images. This is probably one of the easiest photography techniques that I know. It is so simple, so quick. So without spending too much time talking about it, let's jump right into it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get sharp images from front to back. Focus stacking is a photography technique that combines the use of a camera and a software such as Photoshop. Focus stacking can be used on all genres of photography, but it is most common with landscape photography and macro photography specifically with landscape using a wide angle lens. This technique is capturing two or more images at different focus points to ensure your image is sharp from front to back. Do you ever notice that when you find a really, really cool foreground and you get all close up to it to exaggerate it and make it really big in the image that will draw you in, that when you do focus on the foreground, your background is now out of focus. And then when you focus on your background, your foreground is now out of focus. When your foreground is that close to your camera, you will need to apply focus stacking. But the good thing is focus stacking is super easy to learn. So once you set up your composition, something that you're happy with and you've got a really solid foreground, the first thing that you want to do is focus on what is closest to the lens. Once you focus there, you then move your focus point up to the middle of the image, pick a spot in the middle and focus there. Now take that image. Finally, you want to move your focus point up all the way to the background, the sky, whatever your background is and focus there. You now have three images at three different focus points that you're gonna bring, now bring into Photoshop and put them all together. Before we bring all those images into Photoshop, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos. I have a lot more tips and techniques to show you. And obviously, well, I, I don't know what to say about what's going on here. Obviously subscribe so you don't miss out on more of Ollie's butt in the frame. Here are the three images from what I was previously just shooting. You'll notice that it is actually a long exposure. I went ahead and photographed it as a long exposure because that is just simply what I prefer. So we have three layers. Usually what I do first is I will do a basic edit in Lightroom and apply that to all three of the focus stacked images. And then I open it as layers stacked on top of each other in Photoshop. So the first layer that we have here is where I focused on the rocks closest to the camera. The middle one here is where I focused on the lake and then the background where I focused on the sky. So focus tagging in Photoshop is so easy. It takes two steps and it usually does a really, really good job. So what you wanna do is you select all of your layers here. You go into edit, auto align layers. This is really important. You have to do this first before you actually focus stack them. Just make sure that auto is selected and then press okay. Now that they are fully aligned, you make sure again that all of the layers are selected. Go back into edit, auto blend layers, which is below the auto align layers. Click on that. Make sure stack images is selected and seamless tones and colors and hit OK. We now have a focus stacked image and it is sharp from the foreground all the way up into the background. Usually with focus stacking, you get some funky little edges around the image and I usually just crop just slightly. So that is something that's kind of important to remember when you're shooting is that you will have to crop in. So maybe just give a little bit of extra room when you are actually shooting the image. But other than that, as you see, focus stacking in Photoshop is so easy. It's just two quick steps. It is no different than regularly shooting just one image. You just have to have a few more to complete a focus stack. On this particular image, I didn't need to use three. I probably just would have used two. So you, I, I'm not that close to the rocks in the foreground. Two would have just been fine, but it was when I was focusing on the rocks here, the background was slightly out of focus. 
So I just want to show you one more example. In this one, I'm only going to use two images. I'm a lot closer to the foreground in this photo. So the, as you can see, this is the, this is the image where I focused on the ice here and you can see how out of focus the background is because of where I focus. So on this image, for sure, focus tagging is necessary. So again, the same process, make sure both of your layers are selected, edit, auto align layers. This is gonna match them up. Just make sure auto is selected, hit okay. Okay, Photoshop has perfectly aligned them as you can see. And now we are going to, again, make sure they're both selected, edit, edit, auto blend layers, stack images, seamless tones and colors, hit okay. We now have a image that is perfectly sharp from front to back. It is as simple as that. You can use two images or you can use three, you can use four, however many you want and just see how complicated your scene is. The closer you are to your foreground, you will need more images to focus stack. You'll have to move your focus point up and just keep going, keep going. But generally I use two or three. I hope you guys found all that useful. Let me know if you enjoyed this quicker video where we didn't really get into things. It was just boom, this is what you do, da 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 da. Now go out and do it. I am curious to see if you like the longer videos or if you like the shorter ones. Please jump in the comments and let me know what you think. And I would also appreciate if you would give me some video ideas that you would like to see me create. Just keeping in mind that I'm kind of limited to being trapped in the house. I do actually live right beside a lake, so I do have the options of going there and photographing at a sunset or sunrise because I can just walk there in five minutes. So if it is something outdoors, feel free to put it in the comments section and I will add them all to my list of to make videos. Talk to you guys again soon, bye. This is one of Ollie's favorite things in the morning is having underneath his collar scratched on his big neck. It's funny because he actually hates having his belly scratched, but if you scratch his neck, he is one happy boy. You're <laughs> so cute. Ollie says bye. Bye.